The MinSwap team have released details about the Min T conversion process so that we can learn and find out exactly what we need to do at this upcoming event where we can now lock in our Min T tokens into a smart contract to convert them over to Min tokens. Let's get into it. Yeah, yeah, gotta do it like that. You've been listening to the Learn Cardano podcast. Gotta get... Hey everyone, I'm Peter Bury, and if this is your first time here, please consider giving that thumbs up, click subscribe and click on the notification bell and you hear more great Cardano related content from me. So in 2021, the MinSwap team did a fair initial stake offering where you could delegate to various stake pools to earn Min tokens. But they split this up in two. So they had the Min tokens and they had the Min T tokens. So we eventually got our Min tokens pretty quickly, but then half of that, or I think a little bit more than half, were converted to Min T tokens. And this was to create a vesting period for the tokens. So a huge supply of Min tokens weren't dumped on the market immediately. Now the team at MinSwap have put out this really long blog post and it goes through the entire process of what you need to do in regards to converting those Min T tokens over to Min tokens. Now this is all a part of a vesting period so they can get liquidity to the decks as well as uh, not have that massive supply or oversupply of Min tokens all at once, which really would uh, drop the price. But Talking about the price, they have also released a really cool feature here on their decks. So if you didn't see this, uh, you can check it out when you click on trade, but you can see this here. Now we have pricing charts on the decks with a little bit of a volume indicator as well. So we know how much is being traded and being sold on the decentralized exchange at the moment. And you can see here right now that the price is dropping down and that's on the hourly and this is the four hourly. You can see that trend happen um, and it's quite a, uh, quite clear that what you can see um, happening. Now there could be a number of reasons why the price is dropping at the moment and it could be anything from the oversupply that may be coming out the moment after this vesting period of the min tokens to other DEXs launching and people pulling out their liquidity in order to jump on these other DEXs and play around with those ecosystems there. So there's a whole bunch of different reasons why it might be happening. But having this min T conversion is a process where they can try and lock in more liquidity onto the decks and they're doing so via this process. And I'll take you through it all here. So let's have a look at the blog post here. And there are a couple of really key takeaways. So if this is all you take away and this is all you wanna watch, just remember this, for every four min T tokens, you need an equivalent one min token to convert over. You have a couple of boosted reward options in regards to how long you actually stake your min T tokens for. So you have a 45 day option, 90 and 135 day option. And each one of those options will give you an extra boost of rewards with 135 giving you that 2X rewards. Now you also have different pools that you can stake to as well. The lion pool, tiger pool, et cetera, et cetera. And each one of those will give you an extra boost again. So have a look at the charts, have a look at the data there, and you'll be able to pick and choose which ones you can stake your min T tokens to in order to get that amount of extra boost and extra min tokens at the end of this process. So if that's all you need to take away from this video, that's great. But let's break down this article a little bit further so we can understand the process. And then I'll show you a demo of exactly how you can calculate and possibly stake your min T tokens. So to be able to actually convert the Min T tokens, you need to have liquidity tokens in the selected pools that they have already. So all the farming pools that are there, those are the ones that you need liquidity tokens for to be able to convert your Min T tokens. Now, before you actually convert your Min T tokens, you need to actually pull that out of being staked in those liquidity pools so that you can restake it back into the new contracts that will also convert your Min T tokens. Is that a little bit confusing? I'll show you in a demonstration in a moment. So how can you actually work this out? Now let's say you provide liquidity in the ADA and MELD pair. Now you need to have the equivalent amount of MELD in MIN to be able to convert over your MIN T tokens. So what does that mean? Let's break it down with a little calculation here. So let's say two MELD is worth one MIN token. Now, if you have 2000 MEL tokens, so you divide that by two, that means you have an equivalent of 1000 MIN tokens. And so with that equivalent 1000 MIN tokens, you convert that 4000 MIN T tokens. So you need to have that minimum. So let's say I have 4000 MIN T tokens in my wallet. I need to have that equivalent amount of MIN 
value in whatever liquidity pool pair that I have there to be able to convert the mint T tokens to min. So was that confusing? A little bit confusing. And when you look at these liquidity pair tokens, you're, you're looking at it and thinking, I have no idea how much that is worth. Luckily, the team have put in a calculator in place and you can see a little interface here and you can use this calculator to work out what your, your trading pair was worth when you put it in so you can have that equivalent value of the min and the trading pair that you have. Um, but you know, it's easier if I just show you a little demonstration here. And the team were kind enough to give me access to their test net so I can see the min T calculator. And if you go to the navigation here and just click on min T, and here is that conversion calculator that they're talking about. Let's say I have a thousand min T tokens that I want to convert. So here now I can select the liquidity pool tokens that I want to pair that with. And let's say I'll just pair it with this one here. This one, I actually have some value in here. So I'll click on that and it will give me that rough estimation of how much it's all worth there. And now because this is on testnet, it's not real value. So it's a little bit harder to see and compared to what it actually may be. So these values are just an example representation. So I'll be able to convert it out and get to my equivalent min tokens. Now on the left hand side here, this is where you would actually start staking your LP tokens with your min tokens. So here I'll just click on select LP token and I'll click on this trading pair here that which I have. So the ADA and min. And then I can type in the amount that I want to stake into the contract and it will tell me exactly how much min I can convert over. Now I have 2,998 min T tokens here. So I'll just need to type in the correct amount, roughly the correct amount to be able to convert that over to get my conversion happening. So that's a little bit too much there. Um, so I can't convert it. So I'll just type that. Let me just try a different number. Let's see if I can get this right. Oh, that's close enough. And down here, I can choose the duration. So this is the durations that they're talking about. So the 45 days, 90 and the 135 days. And then I can click on stake and that will take me through the process of signing the contract, which I'll just do here. And that will stake my LP tokens to earn the min swap rewards as well as convert my min T tokens over from min T to min tokens. Now down here in the bottom, you can see that I have actually locked in some tokens a little bit earlier so you can see where they would appear. Now they do have some rules around the staking. So the staking isn't completely locked. They call it a semi-locked contract. So at any point in time, I can actually pull out this liquidity and convert to fiat currency, taking it to an exchange, for example. So I'm not permanently locked in, which is really good, really fantastic, because if I need that liquidity to pay for something, I can. I can take it out, convert to fiat, and then pay for bills or whatever it might be. But if you are willing to hold it on, you can hold on for that entire period and get all those bonuses. Now, there are some conditions with pulling out your LP tokens a little bit too early, and you can go through some of the scenarios here. So for example, if you're locking in your LP tokens for just 45 days, after that 45 day period, you'll be able to have, you'll be able to pull out your LP tokens and do whatever you want. And then your min T tokens will continuously convert over to min tokens over an extra 45 day period. So it's like a double vesting period, 45 days of staking to actually initiate that initial conversion process. And then an initial 45 days where it would slowly trickle out in a linear fashion. And then you can collect those particular min, min token rewards. Now it's a little bit different with the 90 and the 135 day ones where you'd actually have to stay in for that entire period of the 90 or 135 days to actually get your entire boosted rewards. If you pull out your tokens before that full end date of your contract, then you will negate your boosted rewards. So just keep that in mind. You still will get your conversion after that 45 day period, but the boost rewards will get uh, get to negated and you won't get that extra bonus. So keep that in mind. If you think you will need some liquidity at a future date, time and plan which one you choose. Now, the last thing I need to mention here is the boosted farm. So depending on which farm you're in, if you're in a, a lion, tiger or one of the other farms, a different boost for whichever pool you choose. So the lion farms get that extra 2.5s. Uh, so you get to double and a bit more of your min T tokens as they convert out 
for that 135 day period. And so just as a reminder, let's look at the farms and we can see that the uh, Ada Min pair is the line farm and these ones here are the tiger farms. You can tell by the icons. And then as you go further down, we got the cat farms and of course, uh, Hosky the dog farm, which I don't think gets the boosted rewards. But you can see exactly what you'll be uh, potentially able to uh, stake in to earn those extra little bits. So as daunting as it may seem, having the interface here and playing around with it makes the process really easy. You can also see that my other trading pair here has come through now and you'll be able to play around with that and see exactly how it works. Now, the last thing that you probably need to know is that any of the LP tokens that you want to use to convert your min T tokens must be unstaked from one of the farms. So any of the farms here that you have liquidity for, such as this one here where I'm earning min tokens, you need to withdraw that. So if you're needing to withdraw all of it, you can temporarily withdraw that from the decks and then use those LP tokens to restake back into it. So let me just unstake this one. I'll sign the contract. There we go. So now that's coming back out. That will go on, onto the blockchain and then appear in my wallet. And then I can use those LP tokens to stake back in and convert more min T tokens. Now, always from the interface, you can always check how much liquidity you have on the decks by going to pools and then clicking on your liquidity. And you can see what I'm actually holding here on testnet at the moment. And here I can use any of these two liquidity pool tokens in the smart contracts with my min T tokens to convert over. So that's it for me for this video. And I think it really helped having the interface here so you can actually see and visually uh, experience how this process will actually work. Now, the whole min T conversion process, there isn't a, a hard deadline where you have to start the process. So if you can't do it this week, you can do it next week. There's no big rush into this. Please take your time, have a little play around with it and find out exactly how much min or LP tokens you need to do your conversion of your min T tokens. Now, another question that may have come up is if you didn't claim any of your min T tokens from the fair initial stake offering. Unfortunately, that claim process is over. That ended back in, I think, January. There was about a two month period where you could actually claim that and that process is over. So unfortunately, if you didn't claim it, you would have missed out on those min and min T tokens at that point in time. Now, if you have any questions for the team, they do swing by and check out the comments. So please leave a comment down below and I'll make sure that they see them and get your questions answered. I'll put links to everything also in the show notes. I can't link off to the testnet version of this one yet though, because it isn't publicly available, but it will be available on testnet. So you'd be able to play with it and, and, and get Get your hands dirty uh, before you actually commit to anything on the main net as well. Now, if you really enjoyed this type of content, please consider giving me that thumbs up, click subscribe, click on the notification bell, and you hear more from me soon. Yeah, yeah, gotta do it like that. You've been listening to the Learn Cardano podcast. Gotta get it hype. Crypto is what we like, but this is not investment or financial advice. Gotta do your research, cause it's risky. We know it is. This show is educational and it's informative. Crypto's the future, really, it ain't no debate.